Welcome guys in the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a spiral rail in Revit. Okay, so let's go to level 1 and then go to architecture and then select the railing. And now uh, let's use arc to create the rail like this. And set the start point and the end point of the rail. Okay. And then finish okay so let's see in 3d as you can see it looks like this now so again uh, select the rail and then go to level 2 and then uh, click to edit part and Again, uh, create a small piece of the rail in here. It's in the level 2. So maybe like this. Okay. And then select this one. And then from here by type, click uh, custom. And then uh, give the, the height of the level 400. And then select the next one and then from here click to slope it and then finish okay so let's uh, see in 3d now my rail looks like this okay so now let's go to the setting uh, edit type and then uh, this is the height of the rail. So, let's change to one meter, and then from here, click to edit to change the setting of the rail. So from here, uh, change host from to top rail element, and then base offset minus one hundred, and also from here the uh, base from host to top rail element so this is the corner of the uh, the rail so this is the end of the this is the end of the rail again top rail element and then minus 100 okay and then apply um, okay again apply and okay here we go this is how to create slope trail in Revit. Okay. Uh, and now you can easy create for this site as well. Again, go to level one and follow the same method that uh, uh, I created for the, the the part. So again, go to the third floor and create a small piece of the rail and, and then select this and then custom 400 and then select the next one slope it and then okay let's see in 3d here we go this is like this it's automatically come like this because it's i already changed the setting thanks for watching see you the next tutorial